Hey, what's up you guys? Today is super exciting because I am hiking to the world's longest pedestrian suspension bridge and it is right here in Zermatt, Switzerland. It is 1,621 feet long and weighs 58 tons. I can't even imagine what into building this bridge, but I am super excited to see it with my own eyes. It's supposed to take 10 minutes to walk across the entire thing and that's crazy. Also, I'm totally expecting for there to be a lot of people there because come on, that's a super crazy tourist attraction. So basically first I have to take a train, which is right across the street from Zermatt to Rondo. Not gonna lie, that was a bit longer than what I was expecting because Google Maps is a liar. You just start going straight uphill. <laughs> These kids set up a little thing where you can get water and snacks outside their house. That's so cute. <sighs> if y'all want to go see the world's longest pedestrian suspension bridge, prepare yourself. <laughs> it's raining on my face today, guys. Okay, I bought this weird form protein shake. Maybe it'll give me some more energy. 26 gram high protein strawberry low carb no added sugar plus vitamins energy milk well it's from switzerland so it's probably gonna be good y'all this is a trail that weeds out the week this maybe won't be as busy as i thought it would be haven't seen anybody come by in a second like to pass me but um there's this family two boys and a dad and a mom and mom turned around weeds out the week i am not weak i might be slightly out of breath but i'm gonna finish it <laughs> Put it more into perspective, we weren't even 30 minutes up here and she quit. Since we no longer rely on Google Maps, we're back to Kamut. We have 1,275 feet to climb up and zero feet to climb down. Lovely. Not even one foot, not even one foot to climb down. Oh, it's cute. Look at all those rock towers, guys. That's crazy. I'm so glad to be seeing people take just as many breaks as me. This is difficult, but I know it's gonna be so worth it. I'm so close, I'm only like a half hour away. Bruh. That's insane. Oh my god. It bounces with, oh my god. I'm shocked that there's like nobody here. But it was a very strenuous hike, so I guess I can understand, but like. I am on the longest pedestrian suspension bridge in the world, guys. In Switzerland. Kind of afraid to pass somebody on this thing. This just doesn't feel real. That's, that's just crazy. Imagine like a rock sled. Or, or you could go rock sledding. There's literally one, two, three, four, five people on this bridge right now. And literally in the comments of one of the posts that I was reading about this, everyone said it's way too busy to go in August, don't go in August. But maybe it's because all those people tapped out. Okay guys, so some real talk for a second while I have the middle of this bridge all to myself. This is incredible. This is definitely a once in a lifetime thing that I'm gonna do. And I can say that I walked on the world's longest pedestrian suspension bridge in the entire world. And yes, that hike was, it was rough. Look at all the reviews of people saying how rough that hike was. That's a lot. So it took me probably like two, two and a half hours to get up here. I did take frequent breaks and other people did too. Like it's like one of those things where you like walk for a minute, you take 20 second break. You walk for a minute, you take a 20 second break. Uh, just so you know, pretty high elevation too. Catch your breath. But these views, this bridge, this is, this is insane. You can do it. You might think you can. And I feel bad for that lady that stopped at the beginning of the trail because she, she got it into her head. She got into her head that she thought she couldn't do it. But you gotta just be like, I am stronger than my mind because you are. Your mind will try and lie to you all the time. But it's our job to be like, no, shut up mind. I can do whatever I put my head to. Y'all, I'm about to be the only person on this bridge. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. 
Y'all, I am the only person on the world's longest pedestrian suspension bridge. What? <laughs> I'm having way too much fun up here alone, you know? I know the other day I was kind of just like, I'm lonely, but I think that's because I spent too much time in a hotel room because it was just raining. I'm having a great time by myself. I love it. I love this. This is so cool. And freaking do it if you want to do it, okay? Just go and travel and see all the things that you wanted to see. Because the first time I saw the suspension bridge online, I was like, oh my God, that looks incredible. And here I am and I'm doing it. And it was free. <laughs> and I love free things. It's taking me quite a minute to walk all the way down here. Granted, I did stop to talk to you guys for a second, but let's get this cool shot. Probably looks more cool to me than you, but I did put this in 4K. It's like I'm walking on top of the world, baby. I am gonna go sit over there on that ledge and eat some peanuts and drink some water and take some pictures and then walk back. So you know what they say about mountains, weather changes fast. There is a cloud coming in quickly and they're covering the rest of the mountains. And I got like an hour and a half trek back down. So unfortunately I don't want to spend too much time taking pictures and wind up getting caught in the rain up here because it would be very hard to hike down in the rain with that steep terrain. So let's get going. Not gonna lie, slightly terrified feeling raindrops on this bridge right now. We walking fast. I'm just like snapping pictures real quick because this is freaky. That cloud's coming. It's starting to rain and I'm on a really long bridge. Adventure! Can y'all see that waterfall? That's all from that snow melting. That's so cool. I'm on here taking selfies because I'm probably never going to be back here in my life. Maybe I will, but who knows? You got to make the most of every moment. I'm just like doing this so fast, freaking out. Let's go. We still got like halfway across this bridge to go. I made it off the bridge, feel a little bit better. There was these people that were all yelling in like French or German or something because they didn't want to go across. But one of them wanted to go across, obviously, and they were too afraid. It wasn't that scary. It really, it, I thought it was going to be scarier, but it was honestly way more cool than scary. I just really hope that it doesn't start raining because all I have with me is a flannel and that's gonna protect my camera you guys and uh, I forget my other jacket I always forget something on my hikes okay like you should just know this about me by now but uh fingers crossed I can make it down here within an hour all right you guys so I'm almost back down to the bottom thankfully it didn't rain there's still clouds all around me it's like drizzling a bit but like not bad enough for me to be sliding around or for my camera to get wet or anything like that Whew except for that slide, pay no attention to that slide. So honestly, my favorite thing about this hike is that you can't take a cable car or a funicular up to the top and like cheat and pay for it, which people do a lot around here. I've done it, I've taken them all the way up to the top of mountains. Granted, the mountains that I took them up to were a lot higher than this one. It's a very difficult hike, so if you're in it, like you're gonna be able to see something absolutely incredible, but you can't pay to see this one. Anyway, this hike was super incredible. I can't believe that I was able to come and see this in my life, like that's just insane. Tomorrow I go to Lucerne, and I think I'm still gonna spend the morning here in Zermatt. I might go back to that gorge that was closed when I got here the first day, because I don't think that's like too long of a thing to do and I might just leave my luggage at the hostel, go see that and then take my train to Lucerne to check into my hostel there. But um, thank you guys for joining me in seeing the world's longest pedestrian suspension bridge. I will catch y'all in the next one.